Hey guys, what's up? I'm Bukit here. So today I'll be showing you how to use RC7 for an infinite amount of time. So the last video I made just worked for about two minutes. So this time it won't crash. So first of all, go to the link and download the file. Mm, this is the link. So let it load. All right. Okay, click download as zip button. It's downloading. You can see, oh, my internet is shit. About 30 seconds. I'll just skip this. Alright, so once it's done, if you are using Chrome, it will show this is a um, Chrome has blocked it. So press Ctrl J or click download. Well, click this three bars and then click download. Then click recover file and click recover anyway. And it will be done. Just wait. Oh. Okay. Now open the zip file. Uh, click this folder, drag it to the pl place you want to extract it on. So I'll just drag it on the desktop. Okay. Alright. So once that's done, open Extreme Injector. Uh, meanwhile, go to Roblox and play a game. Let's see which one, which one, which one. I don't know, my internet is being a shit. So, I'll just play some small game that won't take time to load. Mm. Let's see. Mm, I think this will do. Escape the toilet. Alright, let the game load. Uh, yeah, add, add this DLL. Go to this folder. There's memcheck DLL. Um, I don't know how to pronounce it. So, add the DLL to Extreme Injector. Like this. Uh, where is it? So, just click and drag it in this box. Once you've added it, inject it. I'll click OK. Once that's done, run RC7 Embuckled. Uh, if this screen shows up, click More Info and run anyway. Now you can put anything at all in the login and password fields, so it doesn't matter what you put. So. So yeah, now you're done. You can click this button to enable Coexploit 6.0. It's a really cool exploit. Uh, it's a GUI. Let it load. I'll show you. Hey, I'm dead. Okay, I died. I thought. Okay, so finally the it loaded. Now, once it's loaded, you can click the show button in the bottom. I don't know left. Yeah, it's left. Bottom left. Now, it will show up this GUI. You can do a lot of shit in this. Like, let's kill everyone. No. Uh, select player. You can select the player you want to do stuff on in this. So I'll just click all. And it selected all of them. Now go to player settings and I'll click force field on. So now everyone in the game will have a force field. Well, you can't see everyone. So let's teleport them all to me. Right? Now, as you can see, they all have a goddamn force field. Now, 
Now what shall we do? Yeah, yeah, I know. Okay, wait a minute. I don't wanna want that to be saved by me, so I just turn it false. Go here and chat. Oh yeah. So it's all working. So this is uh, all there are a lot of more things you can do with this UI. So server destruction, you can create a flood, it will add water, the terrain water everywhere. So yeah. I don't know how to remove this flood though. You can clear access, spam colors. Okay, it doesn't work. There also used to be raining taco. Oh yeah, here it is. Raining taco. I don't remember the song. So yeah, we will just swim to the top. Oh yeah, we can see the tacos. Here are the tacos. It's raining tacos. So there's local commands like you can enable no clip, but I don't think the no clip works. Maybe it does. This X-ray, it will just turn everything transparent. Not fully transparent, but little bit transparent. There's ESP box. Basically, it will tell you how far a player is. It's really useful in some games. Like when it turn it on. Now, okay. You can see the box. If I wasn't jumping, it would be really clear. As you can see, there's a box at that player. It will tell me location that there's a player at that point. And there's, of course, the script tab. I can turn it to spider and uh, shit, lot of things. I like Brock. He's fucking cool. Though I forgot the commands that he got. Anyway, I won't even see this, sadly. Yeah, there is lighting control, lighting control, so you can set stuff here like uh, set ambient, everything will turn red, set shadow color, set color, set color, set fog color, okay, you can change fog, okay, now there is fog, global shadow, yeah. a lot of stuff, there you can spa spam decals, It's John Cena. Oh, so the script finally worked. Okay, so it was just lag. I can fly. It's the fairy script. It's really cool, you know. You can fly around the map and just press space, and it will turn your fly off. Well, let's see what else can we do. Gear giver. Cool. Well, yeah. I hope you enjoyed the video. You can do this in any game. Also, I'll leave a lot of script, a link to a script collection I collected. Uh, then you can just download the collection of the scripts and click open and find the script you want to run and like. I'll run this explorer script, uh, double click it and click execute. Hey guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, leave a like and subscribe to my channel.